have uh, Mr. B M Poonachal, who is a real estate expert with us. Hello, sir. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, I have a very personal question on real estate. Uh, one of my uncle, who is an expert in real estate, advised me saying that if you want to buy real estate, you should buy it as early as possible. But uh, I feel that do I have uh, some certain age or a uh, certain time to be reached then i'll uh, go for purchasing a real estate okay. so do you have do we have any certain period certain time when and when is the right time to buy a property um uh, there is uh, see the the one way of looking at it is the best time to buy property was 20 years ago second best time is now so that's in general but your question is very specific i would have to agree to some extent with your uncle uh, as to buy a property as early as possible so uh, probably what I, if if you were to now look at the property market uh, you obviously cannot buy a 10 bedroom bungalow in a very prime location so first see what you can afford uh, up to 60% of your salary can be paid at emis so you do the calculation sit with your banker see what what best you can afford i wouldn't recommend buying a plot of land because that will appreciate over a period of time that's fine rather you look at something like a small studio or a one bedroom at a reasonably okay location as on today uh, you already have a place to stay you stay there and that could be rented out burden of emi would be reduced and in the, if you look at the long term a smaller house will always give you good rental income and uh, you could look at it even from the next 30 40 years so as you you know as you grow in life you have more requirements once you have a family kids you need bigger space you need a three bedroom four bedroom if you have a joint family you may need a five bedroom house but in the end of it say uh, if you buy a small house now first and foremost real estate is the best hedge against inflation so rather than keeping money in uh, uh, an fd and saving for buying real estate some day buy the smallest real estate that you can buy today that is one aspect second aspect is a small 1 bhk is a very good place to retire in so imagine 30 years later you still have this house which you bought first and uh, uh, like if if you have a native place to go back it's a different story but there are a lot of pe- uh, you know old people who retire and they stay in bangalore only and they are living in huge houses 5000 10000 square feet houses an old uncle old auntie are staying i think that is you know that is one aspect which uh, you you know you can even look at so the earlier you buy property you have already planned your retirement so you know in 20 years your loan will be over you know you will be getting good rental after you can give it to property management there's no headache for you know running the income will reduce by a few percent here and there but if you took it from a long term point of view this small two bedroom or one bedroom or studio that you can afford to buy today will actually help you you know in your uh, when you are a, a senior citizen that's one second thing is do not buy property uh, based on uh, uh, what somebody told you buy it based on need so today do you need a house yes you need to stay somewhere so if i were to ask you where do you stay you either staying uh if if you are if your parents say you're staying with your parents if if you're married you're staying with your husband or if you're staying in a hostel or whatever so you have a place to stay so why do you need to buy a house right now it's purely from an investment point of view so you need to look at you know buying early why i recommend is um, because it's a forced saving so you can default on not to putting your sips you can default on you will make fd and then you break it for buying a color tv i have done that you know we all do that so a house is something where you are forced to pay the emi no matter what uh, actually i was quite lucky uh, at the age of 27 i bought my first house uh, not because i was very great i was married both me and my wife were working we had high loan eligibility uh, my dad had sold a property so he put a little bit down payment so everything kind of worked fa- fine so right now after 12 years uh, of owning or 11 years of owning the property my rent is more than two times the emi so you know it's a positive cash flow it took about 6 years to reach positive cash flow so if you can struggle for 6 years the 7th year onwards your net income is going to be more than your net outflow but the question is you know at at a certain age when you want to actually enjoy life you are forcing yourself to save uh, in the long term it is good but that's finally totally a personal call so i would go with your uncle say buy as early as possible uh but finally the decision is yours i hope i have addressed the query with that <laughs> thank you so much i was in a great confusion like what to do and when to uh, you know buy a property and okay. i think this was of great help for me thank you so much uh, so i think everyone can uh, go with this like if you are planning 
for an investment i think you can go with buying a property as early as possible if you are planning okay. for your retirement okay. of uh, i'll put it this way hmm. uh, more than uh, buying a property early uh, the thing is what type of property you buy that's more important so if you can afford a three bedroom buy a three bedroom hmm. that will appreciate really well and you could use it for next 15 years you know you don't need to upgrade later so that's what i would say the choosing the type of property is equally important rather than the time of buying the property all right, right. so thank you so much sir for my uh, pleasure. choosing my thank query you so much. thank you thank you so much for watching this video please do like and share this video if you like this and don't miss out to subscribe our youtube channel to know more about financial concepts in much simpler way